Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. Amen. Happy Easter. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Amen. Praise the Lord for Lord God for his son Jesus, his only begotten son, our Lord and Savior, the Savior of the world. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. If you would, as we look into this word this morning concerning the, the blood, the resurrection, the life and death of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I pray that you will, amen, hear the spirit of the Lord this morning. Praise God. I welcome you all here today and those who may be out um, watching by Facebook, amen, I welcome you also as we look into the word of God. And I want to discuss this morning, I want to share with you about the, the blood of Jesus, amen? The blood of Jesus, praise the Lord, praise God. Amen. Let us, at this time, let us pray. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name for the word as, as, that we will share today by the power of the Holy Spirit. Without you, we can do nothing. Therefore, we ask it for your help. We thank you for victory in the word today. We ask for knowledge and wisdom and understanding, comfort, edification, and encouragement from your word today as we look at the, the blood of Christ, that precious blood of Jesus. We give all thanks to you, Father God, for our salvation that we have by and through him, that we have been reconciled, restored in relationship to the Father. We give all praise and honor and glory to you, Father. Without you, we can do nothing today. May the power of the Holy Spirit lead and guide us through the word today, Father God, to your glory, to your honor, to your praise, for your name's sake, for your word's sake, and for your people's sake. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You may be seated, seated in the presence of the Lord. Glory to God. Good morning to each and every one of you here today. Amen. Matthew 26. We're going to, we're going to look at the blood of Jesus. Amen. The blood of Jesus. Matthew 26. And I want to share, I want to begin with what Jesus said of his blood. We will start with what the Lord himself Said of his blood. We will look at the Last Supper. Matthew chapter 26 and verse 26. As they were seating, sitting at the Last Supper, the night of his arrest, the twelve with him. And verse 26 read, as they were eating, Jesus took the bread and blessed it and break it and said, take, eat, give it to the disciples. He gave it to the disciples and take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying, drink ye all of it. For this is my blood of the New Testament, the new covenant, which is shared for many for the forgiveness of sin. The blood of Jesus, the blood of the New Testament, the new covenant that we have, amen, and because of the, the body and the blood of Jesus. This new covenant with better our promises and we have an eternal inheritance and it's shared for many for the forgiveness of sin. Jesus' blood, amen, uh, brings us back into relationship and covenant relationship we can draw nigh to God. He draw nigh to us because of the blood of Jesus. But he goes on to say in verse 29. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth. I will not drink he after of this fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And our Jesus desired that he would drink with us. He was drinking new with us, with you, in my Father's kingdom. Amen? Amen. amen. That's our goal, to drink, amen, uh, uh, drinking new with, with our Lord and Savior in the Father's kingdom. The blood gives us access to drink in the Father's kingdom with, amen, the Son of God. Amen? amen. I thank God for each and every one of you here this morning. Amen. If we look into the, the blood of Jesus, amen, which is the blood of the uh, New Testament or the, or the New Covenant. And it, it brings forth forgiveness of our sins. We're restored into relationship with the Father and oneness with the Father. 
Amen. And the blood of Jesus, amen, will allow us to, to drink with him again in the Father's kingdom. Amen. I'm looking forward to, amen, uh, 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 drinking uh, uh, anew in the Father's kingdom with our Lord and Savior. Amen. Yes, God. That's what Jesus himself said of the power of his blood. Our sins are forgiven. And the power of his blood will allow us, amen, to drink it new with him in the Father's kingdom. Praise God. The, the power of Jesus' blood will, amen, grant us, amen, uh, uh, access into the Father's kingdom that we can, amen, uh, drink anew with the Son. Amen. The blood of Christ. That's what Jesus said of his own blood in Matthew 26, verse 26 through 29. Now, I want to share, let's look quickly at what the Apostle Paul said of Jesus' blood. Amen? Mm -hmm. Go to 1 Corinthians, chapter 11. He quotes Jesus. 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, and verse 23. 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 23. And I'm reading. And he says, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, as he speaks to the Corinthian saints of the Lord's Supper, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, the same night. And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, take ye, this is my body which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. Amen? Amen? We are to take, come to the communion table of the Lord, amen, mm -hmm. and we do this in remembrance of our Lord. Mm -hmm. My question is, what do you remember? Mm -hmm. What do the saints remember? We're doing this in remembrance of him. Amen? Mm -hmm. and, and my question to you today is, what's your remembrance of the Lord in your life? Because this, this relationship, this Christian relationship, it's about, amen, having a relationship with the Father and the Son. Mm -hmm. When we do this in remembrance of him, when you hold up the, the, the bread, when you hold up the cup, amen, what's your remembrance of the Father and the Son? Take ye, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had a, a suit or uh, uh, when he had finished eating the same. This is the cup of the New Testament in my blood. This cup is the New Testament in my blood. Jesus' blood brought forth the New Testament. This do ye as often as you drink it, as often as you desire. Do this, but do it in remembrance of me. Yeah. Come, and, come to the communion table of the Lord. Break the bread. Drink of the cup. It brings us into a new covenant and, and, and it brings us for the forgiveness of our sins. Amen? Yeah. And we do it as often as we desire, but we are to do it in remembrance of the Lord. And my question is, what is your remembrance of the Lord? It will determine your praise, your worship, your shout. Mm -hmm. It will determine your obedience, your faithfulness. What do we remember this Resurrection Sunday? He said, do this in remembrance of me. What's your, your thought? Mm -hmm. As we uh, uh, sit in the house of the Lord and on this Resurrection Sunday, what is your remembrance of the Lord in, in your life? Amen. Yes, Verse 26. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he comes. We are agreeing with the Lord that he died for our sins. Yes. And by and through his death and resurrection. Amen. We have a new covenant, a better covenant. We have 
Forgiveness of sin. As often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show, you do make known the Lord's death till he come. And we, we believe and we are sure that he is coming. That he is the Christ, the son of the living God. Amen? Praise the Lord. So let us this Resurrection Sunday as we acknowledge the blood of Jesus understand amen. Yes, we have a new covenant. Yes, we, our sins are forgiven. But we do this in remembrance of him. And what is your remembrance of him? Do this in remembrance of me. Amen. That's my question to the saints today. What is our remembrance of the Lord as we look into the, the blood, amen, of Jesus? Look at the Gospel of John. The Gospel of John, chapter 6. The blood of Jesus. Jesus, amen, have a multitude of people always following him. And he begins to teach the word of himself concerning he is the bread of life and amen that those who desire to continue to follow him, he's the living bread. And if he eat of this bread, he should live forever. Amen? amen. Look at verse 51. He says, I'm the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Amen. He gave his body for the life of the world. Amen? Amen. Yes. The Jews, therefore, scroll, for they argued among themselves, saying, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? <laughs> they thinking of cannibalism. Wow. Jesus thinking spiritually. They thinking fleshly. Mm. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, truly, truly, I say unto you, except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. As we do this in remembrance of him, this Resurrection Sunday, amen, and we don't, amen, uh, uh, partake of him, the bread of life, except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Praise God that we have life in us. Thank you, Lord. We have his life, Amen. Whoso eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. That's the life we have. And I will raise him up at the last day. Praise God. The blood of Jesus, amen, we will be raised up at the last day. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, the dead in Christ will rise first, but those who died a, 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 a previously will be raised up by the Lord himself, Amen. Look at verse 50, 56. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. See, See the oneness, the closest that we partake of the communion table of the Lord, the bread, the, the cup, amen. Uh, uh, he that eateth my flesh, amen, the bread represents the flesh of Christ and who drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. That's the oneness, that's the unity between Amen. The Son, the Father, the Son, and the people of God. Amen. Yes. Look at verse 59. These things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Many therefore of his disciples, when they heard this, said, this is a hard saying. This is a difficult saying. Who can hear it? Who can understand it? And when Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured, his disciples grumbled at it, he said unto them, does this offend you? There are some that Resurrection Sunday offend some people. They don't believe that Jesus died for the sins of the world. They don't believe in the blood of Jesus brings us a new covenant, a better covenant that, and removes all sins from us. They don't believe that Jesus rose from the dead. Amen? Does this offend you? Amen. Mm -hmm. Look at verse 54. He asked the question, does this offend you? He said, but there are some of you that believe not. Mm -hmm. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believe 
not and who should betray him. He knew from the when? The beginning. Yes. Who believed not and who should betray him. And he said, therefore said I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. Amen. Yes, God. God is in control. Yes, he is. Thank you, Lord. And from that time, many of his disciples went back. They went back. Mm. Many of his disciples, many of his uh, uh, followers and learners, they went back wow. and walked no more with him. Amen. Mm -hmm. They walked no more. They, they went back and they walked no more with him. They, amen. They did not come back to him again. They, amen. They had some church hurt, but they didn't come back. Mm. Many of them. Then said Jesus to the twelve, will you also go away? Mm, Lord. And Simon Peter answered, Lord, to whom shall we go? Mm -hmm. Not where shall we go, to whom shall we go? Amen. We no longer walk with Christ. It's not where shall you go, it's to whom shall you go? Mm -hmm. For he is the only one who has eternal life. Mm -hmm. He's the only one who could raise us up at the last day. Mm -hmm. To whom shall Amen. We go. Thou hast the words of eternal life, Peter said. And we believe and are sure yes. that thou art that Christ, amen. the Son of the living God. Yes. Amen. This Resurrection Sunday, amen. We, we, we must believe and be sure, saints, yes. that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. Yes. And there's no place other for us to go. There's no one else for us to go to. Amen. He has eternal life. He is the one that by and through his body, through his blood that has given us a new covenant and given us a, a, a forgiveness of our sins. Yes. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. And verse 15, the blood of Jesus. 2 Corinthians 5 and 15, and it reads, He died for all. Who did Jesus die for? All. He died for all. That they which live should not henceforth or from now on live unto themselves. Amen. Because of the blood of Jesus, because that his, uh, because of his body, because he died for all, because he's given us eternal life, forgiveness of our sins, amen, mm -hmm. we should no longer live for ourselves. This Resurrection Sunday, do we understand, amen, as we depart these doors uh, 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 today, we should no longer live for ourselves if we truly understand that Jesus died for all. He's given us eternal life. He brought forth forgiveness of our sin. Therefore, we should not live for ourselves. Amen? Amen? Amen. We should no longer live for ourselves because our life, our body, our spirit, the Bible says, the Bible says belongs to him. You know what the Bible says? Let's continue reading. Verse 15. He that died for all, and that he died for all, Jesus did. He died for all, that they which live should not henceforth or from now on live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them mm -hmm. and rose again. He died for us and he rose again. Amen? Yes. Therefore, we should not live for ourselves. Amen? Amen. We are to live for him because the Bible tells us that our bodies, our amen, our spirit, and our our bodies and our spirit belong to him. Amen. The Bible tells us what we were bought with a price. Therefore, we belong to him. 
Our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. We belong to him. We are not to live for ourselves this resurrection Sunday. Amen? Yes, our bodies are not our own. Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 6. 1 Corinthians chapter 6. And verse 19. 6 and 19. 1 Corinthians 6 and 19. And it would read, Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? We are not to live for ourselves, amen, because of the body and the blood of Jesus and what he has accomplished for us. He died for all, therefore we are not to live for ourselves, amen, why? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have of God, and ye are not your own. Yeah. Look at verse 20. For you are bought with a price. What is that price? The blood of Jesus. Yes. God only begotten son. Amen. The precious blood of the lamb. We are not bought with what? Silver and gold. But with the precious blood of Jesus. You are brought. I'm sorry. Bought with the price. Therefore glorify God in your body. Amen. And in your spirit. Which are God. Amen. If we say we have, we understand that. Amen. We we pray, we worship, we celebrate. We have these big events concerning. Amen. Resurrection Sunday. But let us understand why we are having these big events concerning Resurrection Sunday. That your body is not your own. Amen. Jesus prayed in Paris. He he died for all. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And we should no longer live for ourselves. We really want to celebrate Easter Sunday or Resurrection Sunday. We will depart the house of God today understanding, amen, that we are not to live for ourselves, amen? amen. Praise God. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 8. 2 Corinthians chapter 8. We are not to live for ourselves. 2 Corinthians 8. And verse 9, as we celebrate this Resurrection Sunday, as we celebrate the blood of Christ and what it has accomplished for us, a, a new and better covenant and eternal life, amen, that we can drink anew in the, in the Father's kingdom. Yes. Understand that we've been bought with a price and it was the, the life of Christ, amen? amen. So we're not to live for ourselves. Second Corinthians mm -hmm. chapter 8 and verse 9 and it reads, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. For though he was rich, mm -hmm. he was rich, mm -hmm. yet for your sake, mm -hmm. for the people's sake, for your sake, for my sake, for those of us who were in what well, was in the world without hope and without God. Mm -hmm. We were once without hope in this world without God. And Jesus came, amen, who, he, who was rich, yet for your sake, he became poor. Mm -hmm. That through his poverty, he came, amen, as a servant. Mm -hmm. Through his poverty, we might be rich in the things of God. Amen? Amen. Though he was rich, he gave it all up. Mm -hmm. He became poor. Mm -hmm. Understand this Resurrection Sunday. Amen. As we celebrate Christ and his body and his blood, his death and his resurrection, the eternal life. He was rich when he became poor that through his poverty we might be rich in Christ. Mm -hmm. Think on those things above. Amen? You know what the Bible says? Yes. Let us have treasures in heaven. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. If you then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ sits on the right hand of God. Colossians 1 and 2. Colossians 1 and 2. He became poor that you through his poverty might be rich. When did he become poor? For us. 
He became poor for us when, amen, when we were in our worst condition. We were in the world without hope and without God. And Jesus became, who was rich, became poor for us that we might become rich through his poverty. Amen? Yeah. Let me share with you again our condition when Jesus became poor for us. Look at Romans chapter 5. This is what Jesus purchased with his body. He came poor for this. <laughs> Romans chapter 5. He laid down his life for this. Amen. When we were what? Romans 5 says as we celebrate this Easter Sunday, we're not to live for ourselves. We've been bought with a price. Amen. Our bodies and our spirit belong to God. But Jesus laid down his life. He became rich when we were what? Yet without strength. Look at verse 5. Romans 5 and verse 6. Romans 5 and verse 6. This is what Jesus did for us. This is the condition we were in. When we were yet without strength. We didn't have the strength to say no to the vices and the lust of this world. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. We didn't have the strength to say no. Jesus laid down his life. He, he, he became poor when we were yet without strength. He became poor, it says in verse 6, also, uh, amen, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. Amen. Thank you, Lord. When we were without strength, when we were ungodly, that's when Jesus bought us back. He bought, he paid a price. The precious blood of the lamb. Amen. Tell us in 1 Peter, that was the cost, his blood, not silver and gold, amen? amen. Not the blood of bulls and goats, but it was the blood of Christ. For we were yet without strength, <laughs> amen, whatever the world offered, we were looking to try. In due time, Christ died for the ungodly. That was our condition, amen. Look at verse 8. But God comm commended, or he displayed his love toward us. How did he display, display his love toward us? Amen. For God so loved the world, that whoso believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God commended his love toward us through Christ, through his only begotten son, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Thank you, Jesus. But he did not only amen, display his love through sending him, he displayed his love by allowing his son to die for us. While we were yet sinners, we were what? Without strength. Mm -hmm. We were ungodly. Mm -hmm. And we were sinners. When God displayed his love to us through his son, amen? amen? This resurrection Sunday. We should not live unto ourselves after this resurrection Sunday. Amen. That should be a, a change in our life when we, after we celebrate this resurrection Sunday, 2022. Praise God. Amen? amen? We can't come to the church and, and lead the same way every Easter. That should be a point in time when there's a change, amen? We can't live unto ourselves. The Bible says Jesus died for all. Amen. And the scripture goes on to say, because he died for all, we should not live unto ourselves. He died for all when we were without strength, we were ungodly, and we were what? Sinners. Christ died for us. Look at verse 9. Romans 5 and 9. Much more then, being now what? Justified. Mm -hmm. What are we? Justified. We are justified what? By his blood. Amen. What does justified mean? Vindicated. Free. Declared righteous. Mm -hmm. We're justified. We're, we're declared righteous. We're vindicated. We're free. That word justified means declare righteous. It means to put someone in a proper relationship with another. And when it's referring to, to God and his relationship with, with, with mankind, Jesus' blood put
put us back into what? A uh, uh, right relationship. Yes. We're declared righteous. Thank you, Lord. We're vindicated. We're freed. Because Jesus is our uh, uh, legal uh, uh, satisfaction for the wages of sin. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yes. He's the, the payment. He's the uh, uh, propitiation for, amen. He's the advocate between God and man. Listen now, he, he, we're justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Look at verse 10. For if when we were enemies, mm -hmm. now this is when Christ laid down his life. This is when Christ shed his blood. This is when Christ brought us back. Amen? Mm -hmm. When we were what? Without strength. Mm -hmm. Verse 6. We were ungodly. Amen? Verse 6, we were sinners. Verse 8 and verse 10 said we were also enemies of God. Mm -hmm. We were enemies yet we were reconciled to God by the death of his son. Much more been reconciled. We shall be saved by his life. You reconcile and save mm -hmm. by his life. Praise God for his what? Resurrection. Yes. On the third day, according to scripture, he resurrected mm -hmm. yes. with all power. Yes. Taking the keys of, of, of death. Amen? Yes. The authority of death. Amen. From the wicked one. All power and authority is now restored. Amen? Mm -hmm. And we've been reconciled. We have relationship. I want to encourage you, saints. And this resurrection Sunday, draw down to God, and he was drawn down to you. Yes. We can't just draw down to God on Easter and Christmas and New Year's. We got to draw down to God on a, a consistent basis, amen? Mm -hmm. He said those who diligently seek him, mm -hmm. will he reward, amen? Yes, amen. Now, I said earlier about, amen, we're justified by his blood. Look at 1 John chapter 2. 1 John chapter 2. We're justified by his blood. And verse 1. 1 John 2 1. My little children, these things write out unto you that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate. We have a defense attorney All right. with the father, Morgan and Morgan. <laughs> Would y'all like for Morgan and Morgan to be there? What about Johnny Cochran? He was good. Would you like for him to be your defense attorney for your sins? Amen? Will you have an accident? No, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, yes. the righteous one. Amen? Amen? Yes, For he is our what? Propitiation. He's our legal appeasement, payment for our sins. And not for our own, but also for the sins of the whole world. His blood is the payment, the propitiation for our sins. He's our advocate. He's our defense attorney. He's our mediator. There's one mediator between God and man. That is Christ. Yes. This Resurrection Sunday. Let us, amen, live for him. We're, we're no longer to live for ourselves. Because of the, what the, the blood of Jesus, the, the cost, that, what it cost him to, amen, reconcile us to, to the Father, amen. He died for all, but we should no longer live for ourselves. Can we leave the house of God Easter 2022 no longer living for ourselves but unto God? Amen? See, for the wages of sin is death and Jesus paid the price for all of us. Amen? Yeah, he paid, he paid the price 
follower. His blood. The church is today because of what? His blood. Look at it if you would. Acts chapter 20. Acts chapter 20. And verse 26. The blood of Jesus. Acts chapter 20 and verse 26. The apostle Paul and his farewell speech to the Ephesian saints. He says, wherefore I take you the record. He said, I'm calling you the witness. This day that I am pure from the blood of all men. For I have not shunned, I have not hesitated to declare unto you all the counsel of God. All the counsel, all the advice of God, all the word of God. Amen? Yes. He said, I'm free, I'm pure from the blood of all men. For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of God. Take heed, therefore. Mm -hmm. Pay attention. Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves. Mm -hmm. See, this, this Resurrection Sunday, we're not to live for ourselves because of the precious blood of Jesus and what it costs. Amen? Therefore, unto yourself and to all the flock over which the Holy Ghost had made you overseers to feed the church of God, which He had purchased with His own blood. This little church, Jesus purchased with His own blood. Amen. So we ought to take heed to ourselves, those of us that who 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 are congregate here and who we assemble ourselves here. We need to take heed. Ourselves, amen, and understand we're not to live to ourselves, amen, because Jesus purchased this church what? with his own blood. Thank he bought us with his blood, he bought this church with his blood, amen. amen. Look at verse 31. He said, the Apostle Paul goes on to say to the Ephesian elders and the, and the saints of the, the church of Ephesus, therefore, he says, what? Well, watch and remember that by the space of three years, I cease not to warn everyone night and day with tears. He said, and now, brother, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up. See, the word of God builds you up. And I pray that this at Resurrection Sunday, the word of God will build you up. Build you up that when we leave the house of God this Sunday, this resurrection Sunday, that we will not live to ourselves. Amen? Amen. It's to build you up, I commend you to God, verse 32, and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them which are what? Sanctified. Amen? If we continue in the word, if we continue to understand the price, the blood of Jesus, the price, what it cost him, as he bought us, he purchased this church, the body of Christ, amen, that we should be built up, we no longer live to ourselves. Because Jesus died for all. Amen? Amen. Amen. Look at Ephesians chapter 2. We're looking at the blood of Jesus. Jesus' blood reconciled us to, to the Father when we were without strength, when we were ungodly, when we were, amen, enemies of God. We were sinners. Jesus' blood brought us back. Amen. He died for all. We should no longer live for ourselves. Jesus' blood bought, purchased the church of God. Amen? His blood. Let's look at Ephesians now, chapter 2. We're no longer to live for ourselves, saints. Understanding the blood of Jesus, his precious blood, we were not bought with silver or gold. We should, the scripture, I've shown it to you, we should no longer live to ourselves. This Easter, if we believe that he died for all, he's reconciled unto the Father, all our sins are forgiven. We should no longer live for ourselves, but unto him. Look at Ephesians chapter 2. And verse 12. Ephesians 2 and 12. There was a 
division between the Gentiles and the, and the circumcision, the Jews. But listen to what the Apostle Paul said about the power of the Holy Spirit. That at that time you were without Christ. There were a time in all of our lives we were without Christ. Amen? Yes. Being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise. Having no hope. There was many Easter Sundays that I didn't celebrate when I was in the in the in the world having no hope yes. and without God in the world. Yes. But now, now? in Christ Jesus, mm -hmm. you who were sometimes were far off. Mm -hmm. Do this in remembrance of him. Do you remember when you were far off? But now in Christ Jesus, ye who were sometimes, once were far off, are made near by the blood of Christ. The blood of Christ makes us near Amen. to the Father, to the Son. We can draw near now. We have access. Amen? We can come boldly to the throne of grace. The, the Son has gone and prepared a place for us. Amen? Amen? And we can come boldly to the throne of grace now. But now in Christ Jesus, ye who were sometimes were far off are made near by the blood of Christ. Yes. We, were with, we were in the world with no hope and without God in the world. And now we can come near by the blood of Christ. Yes. That precious blood yes. who bought us, who purchased us again. But we were without strength. We were without hope. We were Amen. Ungodly and enemies and sinners. But now we can come near by the blood of Christ. Mm -hmm. Look at verse 14. Mm -hmm. For he is our peace. Yes. Who has made both one and has broken down the middle wall of petition between us. He's broken down the wall of the petition between Jew and Gentile. He's also broken down that wall Amen. Well, only one could come behind the veil, the high priest of the Old Testament. The curtain has been torn down. The veil has been torn. And Jesus now has given us access. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He has brought Jew and Gentile together. But he, he's also brought man and God together. Yes. He's reconciled us to the Father by his blood. Look at verse 17. Jesus, or verse 16, and that he might consign both unto God in one body by the cross. Mm -hmm. See? He had to go by the cross. Mm -hmm. Having slain the enmity thereby, the enmity between Jew and Gentile, but also the enmity between God and man. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible tell, uh, 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 tells us in Romans, again, that we were enemies of God. Yes. Having slain the enmity thereby, and came and preached peace to you which were afar off and to them that were near. Mm -hmm. See, when we were afar off, Christ came and preached peace, and he's the peace of the world. Yes. Thank you, Lord. For through him, verse 18, uh -huh. we both have access, see, mm -hmm. by one spirit unto the Father. See, we can draw near. Yes, yes. We have access Lord. to the Father. Through him. Because of what? We're made near by the blood of Christ. So now we have access through him. By one spirit unto the Father. Verse 19. Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners. But fellow citizens with the saints. And of the household of God. The blood of Christ now. Uh, amen. Makes us what? Fellow Children with the saints and of the household of God. Amen? Amen. And are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets and Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone of the church. Yes. The church that he purchased with his own blood. Amen? Amen. In whom all the building fitly framed together grows unto a holy temple in the Lord. It's fitly framed together. Jew and Gentile. Amen? It grows into a holy temple in the Lord. So let us, amen, amen, he died for all. 
Jew and Gentile, those who are near, those who are afar off. So let us, amen, remember the price that he paid. It was his blood. In whom also, in whom ye also are built together for a habitation of God through the Spirit. A dwelling of God through the Spirit. Amen. I thank God that He that His blood purchased the church. I thank God that His blood made us near to the Father. That we have access through him by the spirit. Amen? Mm -hmm. When we were once having no hope and without God in the world. Having no hope. That was our position mm -hmm. and our condition was without strength. We were ungodly. We were sinners and we were enemies of God. And now because of the blood of Jesus we're made near. Yes. Because of the blood of Jesus through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Look at Colossians. Colossians chapter 1. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 12. Colossians 1. For the sake of time, I'm going, I'm going to go. Let's go to 14, verse 14. Let me read verse 14. Colossians 1 and 14. It reads, in whom we have redemption. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Christ. Mm -hmm. We have redemption. We have salvation. Through his blood. Yes. Do you see that? Yes. We have redemption. We have amen. Salvation. How? Through his blood. Even the forgiveness of sin. We have redemption. We, we have salvation. And even the forgiveness of sin. How do we attain it? Through his blood. We have an eternal inheritance. We have this Amen. Redemption is eternal inheritance because Jesus, what did he do? Amen. The Bible says in Hebrews that he went in into the holiest and he offered his own blood. Look at Hebrews 9. The blood of bulls and goats could not remove sin and cover it. So what did Jesus do? Hebrews 9 and verse 12 it tells us that the Old Testament priests offered the blood of bulls and goats and cows. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 9 and 12 it says, but by his own blood, listen now, this is how our salvation, our redemption, our eternal inheritance, this is how we receive it. Jesus, by his own blood, he entered in once yes. into the holy place having obtained eternal redemption for us. Amen? He, he attained it. He obtained it for us because he offered, he entered in once with his own blood, not the blood of bulls and goats and cows. Therefore, we have what? Eternal redemption. We have eternal salvation. As we celebrate this, Resurrection Sunday. Let us understand the blood of Jesus. He died for all. We should no longer live unto ourselves. His blood purchased you and I. And we know, I've said it repeatedly, our uh, condition and our position. He purchased the church. He, he purchased us when we were, amen, uh, uh, without hope and without God in the world. He purchased us by his blood when we were uh, ungodly, when we were without strength, when we were enemies of God, and we were sinners, amen? That was our condition. Our position when we were, amen, without hope and without God in the world. That's when Jesus purchased us with the, his precious blood of the Lamb. 
Amen. So therefore, saints, I'm not going to let it go. After this resurrection Sunday, since Jesus died for all, can we no longer live for ourselves? Let's, let's go back and live for him. Amen? First John chapter 5. First John chapter 5. First John chapter 5. Wow. And verse, let me see where I pick up. My time has run out. For the sake of time, I think. You can read it for yourself. First John 6, chapter 5, verse 6 through 13. I want to make this point. And we'll be done. Go to 1 Peter. 1 Peter chapter 1. 1 Peter chapter 1. And verse 18. 1 Peter 1 and 18. For as much as ye know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things. As silver and gold. From your vain conversation received by tradition from your father. But with the precious blood of Christ Amen. as of a lamb without blemish wow. and without spot. Yes. That's how we were redeemed. Yes. With the precious blood of the lamb. Amen? Yes. With the precious blood of the lamb. Let us live for him. No longer living unto ourselves. Amen? Amen? It was the precious blood of the Lamb. Revelation 1 and 5 says that Jesus, amen, washed us from our sins in his own blood. Revelation 1 and 5. He washed us from our sins in his own blood. Revelation uh, uh, 12 and 11 uh, the Bible tells us that amen that they overcame him who? the Antichrist they're in the midst of a tribulation now in Revelation chapter amen 12 and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb yes. we overcome the evil one mm -hmm. the Antichrist by the blood of the Lamb, amen? By the blood of the Son of Jesus, amen? And they love not their lives unto them. Even those who will be alive during the tribulation period, they will overcome him, the Antichrist, amen, Satan, whoever it may be, the false prophet, amen? They, they will, you will overcome all of them, that evil trinity, by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. And they love not their lives unto them. They are willing to die. Amen? And they will overcome them by the blood of them. That's the power of the blood of Jesus. God. That it overcomes even Satan. Amen? Yes. So I want to thank us today. I want to thank the Lord today. Amen? As we close today, let us remember that the, the power of the blood of Jesus, the blood of Christ. Amen? He, he purchased us with his own blood, his precious blood, not silver and gold. Amen? And he, he bought us and it was a price. It was his blood. Amen? Yes. His, blood, his blood purchased you and I. His blood purchased the church. His blood uh, uh, purchased our eternal redemption. And the scripture tells us that because he, he died for all, we should no longer live for ourselves. So as we close this Easter Resurrection Sunday, my final word is that we no longer live for ourselves. Understanding that he died for all. Amen? Amen. 2 Corinthians 8 and 9. He died for all, and we should no longer live for ourselves. Showing honor, respect unto him. We should no longer live for ourselves 
understanding the price. We are bought with a price. And our body and our spirit belong to him. Our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Let us depart this Resurrection Sunday, amen, understanding we're bought with the price, and the price was the blood of Jesus, and we're no longer to live for ourselves, amen? Amen, amen. give God a praise, hallelujah, I thank God for you this morning, I pray that you heard God still small voice. let us depart, no longer living for ourselves, as we uh, continue to live through our 2022, Lord's will, we'll be back here 2023, with a testimony that, that saints, pastor, I did not live for myself. I live for the Lord, understanding the blood of Jesus. Yes. That we were purchased with a price, and that that price, amen, cost him his life. But he endured. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen and amen. Well, thank God for you today. At this time, amen. Uh, uh, the deacons will come and we'll take up our, our offering at this time. Praise God. Amen. I thank God for you. Hallelujah.